Welcome to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like the content, please like, subscribe and share. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of the new videos. Today in the series of microbiology related words, the word is plasm. Word plasm comes from Greek word plasma which means to shape. In medical science, plasm can be used as prefix or suffix for example plasma membrane and protoplasm respectively. Plasm with the meaning of living substance or substance of cell used to form compound words. So here are few compound words where plasm used as suffix exoplasm, cytoplasm, deutoplasm, ectoplasm, endoplasm, hyloplasm, mitoplasm, neoplasm, nucleoplasm, periplasm, protoplasm, sarcoplasm, toroplasm, etc. Being learners, sometimes we may confuse with them. So here are the meaning of some of these terms. First is cytoplasm. It is gel-like substance within a cell enclosed by cell membrane. Cytoplasm includes all material inside the cell but outside the nucleus. In other words, cell nucleus is not the part of the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is colorless made up of 80% of water, proteins, salts and minerals. Most of the cellular activities take place in the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm can be divided in two parts. First is ectoplasm also known as exoplasm or cell cortex. It is non-granulated and clear outer part of the cytoplasm within the cell. It protects the cell as well as transport the things inside the cell. It also gives elastic support to the cell membrane due to the presence of large number of actin filaments. Next is endoplasm. Inner, dense and granulated part of the cytoplasm is called endoplasm. It is separated from nucleus by nuclear membrane. Endoplasm is rich in water, nucleic acids, amino acids, carbohydrates, lipids, enzymes and minerals etc. It is actually a site of most cellular processes. It plays crucial role in the intracellular transport. Nucleoplasm. It is a fluid act as a barrier between the nuclear DNA and the cytoplasm. Nuclear membrane encircles nucleoplasm. It contains nucleotides, enzymes and proteins. Nucleolus filled with genetic material present in the nucleoplasm. Nucleoplasm can be divided in two parts. First is mitoplasm. The reticular part of the cell nucleus where chromatic substance or chromatin is present is called mitoplasm. Next is hyloplasm. The soluble liquid portion of the nucleoplasm is called nucleosol or nuclear hyloplasm. Protoplasm. Cytoplasm and nucleoplasm collectively called as protoplasm. It is a living content of the cell. The word protoplasm not in much use nowadays. Periplasm. Gel-like matrix present between cell membrane and outer membrane is called periplasm. It includes solutes such as peptidoglycan, ions and proteins. These substances perform various functions in cell like nutrient binding, transport, folding, degradation, substrate hydrolysis, cell wall synthesis, electron transport and alteration of substances toxic to the cell. Periplasm is devoid of ATP. Next is tonoplasm. Thin layer of cytoplasm outer side of the cell vacuole is called tonoplasm. It separates one vacuole from another. It is also known as vacuolar membrane takes part in food digestion. Exoplasm. It is a cytoplasm of nerve cell present in exon region of nerve cell. Exoplasm is a key factor in many biological processes like signaling, response to injuries, neurite outgrowth and exon glia interactions. It contains high amount of mitochondria, microfilaments and microtubules. Sarcoplasm. Cytoplasm of muscle fiber is called sarcoplasm. High amount of glycosomes, myoglobin, calcium ions and oxygen binding proteins present in sarcoplasm. Sarcoplasm play important role in cell contraction and relaxation. Deutoplasm, the part of cytoplasm which reserve nutritive material of the cell or ovum is called deutoplasm. 
it is heavier than surrounding cytoplasm. Yolk of an egg is good example of deutoplasm. Neoplasm, excessive and abnormal growth of cells in tissue is called neoplasm. Basically, it is a mass of a cells formed due to uncontrolled growth of the cells. In other words, neoplasm is cancerous growth of the cells.